Hey, Mr. Coyne here from Coyne Maths. Today we're going to be looking at what is a quadratic equation. An equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero is a quadratic equation. Uh, a doesn't equal zero, and this equation is written in standard or general form. You can draw a graph of a quadratic if you get a parabola. You can solve quadratic equations of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero algebraically using factors. This video will introduce a number of techniques for factorising and solving basic quadratic equations. A quadratic is an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And remember, a cannot be equal to zero. So a is just a number, b is just a number, c is just a number. So an example of a quadratic, for instance, would be 3x squared plus 7x plus 5 equals 0, that's a quadratic, but equally 3x squared plus 7 is also a quadratic, you don't have to have a term for the x, or you could have x squared minus 9 equals 0, that's also a quadratic, that's also called the difference of two squares, we'll be covering that today, and the other type we'll be covering is the type where there is just a common factor between the two. So we're going to be covering this type here and this type here. We always solve quadratics algebraically through the process of factorization. And remember, when we're factorizing something, we'll always look for a common factor first. There might not be a common factor, and when there isn't a common factor, that's completely fine. It just means you end up with double brackets. But if we don't check for that first, the problem we're going to run into is we it might have had a common factor, we've tried to double bracket it, it doesn't work with we'll Okay, stuff. example one says solve 4x squared plus 8x equals 0. So just a quick reminder of factorising, the first thing I check for is a common factor. So I'm going to write every single time, common factor equals. So remember, a common factor is just a number or letter that goes into both of the terms in the equation. So in this case, 4 is the biggest number that goes into 4 and 8, but also x goes into both of them as well. So I just need to divide 4x squared by 4x and 8x by 4x. So 4x goes outside the brackets. I open the bracket, single bracket because I've got a common factor. 4x times x gives me 4x squared. 4x times 2 gives me 8x. So I've got 4x bracket x plus 2 equals 0. I've pretty much solved my quadratic now because either 4x equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. One of them has to be 0 because you're times two things together and if you times two things together and you get an answer of 0, obviously one zero. okay? So I can immediately write down 4x equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0 Basic equations to solve, the first one, x equals 0, nice and simple, and the second one, x equals minus 2. And that's it, I've solved the equation. Just a quick note on what this actually means, Remain, remember, a quadratic can be drawn as a, par a parabola, a picture on a graph. If I was to solve that, that just means that I've found the roots of the equation, so I've found out where the equation cuts the x-axis. Second type that we can try and solve, again I've got a quadratic because I know it's got an x squared, so it's definitely a quadratic, and it says x squared minus 36 equals 0. I'm going to write down common factor, and that's just to remind myself that I need to check if there is a common factor. But in this case, there's no number or letter that goes into both the terms, so there's no common factor, so that immediately tells me I'm on double brackets. So from previous work, this is called a difference of two squares. So when you've got an x squared and then a square number, the answer is very immediate. We've got x and x. Difference because minus, so x squared minus 36. So I've got a plus, I've got a minus. The square root of 36 is 6. So it's 6 and 6. So x equals 
x plus 6 solid equals 0, or x minus 6 equals 0. So that means that x equals minus 6, or x equals 6. And that is solving basic quadratics by factorising. In the next video, we'll look at solving harder quadratics, ones which are trinomials, three things in it, where you've got to remember how to solve and factorise those quadratics, which can be quite difficult, so I will recap that. But if you want further practice on this, there is a link in the description that you can check. And also, please remember to like and share this video and also subscribe. You can subscribe using the subscribe button in the